Okay, so the Nintendo 3DS would have to be one of my all-time favorite handheld systems. Um, I've been collecting for the 3DS for the last five years and I'm pretty amazed at how many games I have amassed over those five years and there's still titles that I'm trying to hunt down. And one thing that really surprised me when I started putting this all together was just how many Mario games is on the 3DS. And that's what I'm going to start showing first. I just couldn't believe how many Mario games is on the 3DS. Mario Kart 7 is fantastic. Uh, Super Luigi Superstars, that's another great game. Um, then we have the, the golf game. We have a Mario tennis game. I love the, um, these, these types of games. I'm no good at tennis and golf in real life, but on, you know, on consoles, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good actually, but they're, they're fun games. This is another, um, another one that really surprised me. Um, Puzzle Dragon Super Mario Edition. That is really cool. I just love the whole, um, elements of that game. And then we have, um, Mario and Luigi Dream Team Brothers. Like I said, there's so many Mario games on there. And of course we have Super Mario Brothers 2, which is awesome. And we keep going on with Mario and um, Luigi Paper Jam Brothers. It just keeps on going and going. And another really favorite of mine, uh, Paper Mario Sticker Star. That is so great. Um, and another one that really surprised me, which was on the um, Wii U, is uh, Super Mario 3D land and of course we have a yoshi game just to throw it all in the mix so that's a whole heap of um mario games on the nintendo 3ds i think there may be one or two other ones um i have to sh double check that but it, to me I, I do remember there's maybe one or two on, on that so that's the mario games that's pretty phenomenal to see that many, many games on the 3ds Move on to uh, more games. Uh, Persona Q. I absolutely love this game. It's so fantastic. Um, it was a really cool collector's edition, which I missed out on. Another great game. Uh, Monster Hunter Stories, which came with four of the most amazing amiibos you ever see. I've got two of those amiibos. I am trying to hunt down the other two. Fire em Emblem Echo, which is still new and sealed. Um, a lot of great RPGs on this system as well. Uh, Street Fighter. I'm not a huge Street Fighter fan, but this edition of it is is actually pretty good. With a, uh, I think it's with a story mode in it, and I didn't mind it. Now, every single system that I've owned since probably the PlayStation has had, you know, this game on it. With it, whether it be PlayStation 2, 3, Xbox 360, you know, it just goes on and on. Vita, PSP. And that is Ridge Racer. I think it's pretty standard that whenever a, a system gets released, um, there's a Ridge Racer game. This is I love love the Ridge Racer series since the uh, uh, PlayStation Sonic Generations, which is actually a pretty good game. I didn't mind that one. Fossil Fighter Frontier, another one I picked up from uh, Oz Game Shop. I haven't played it yet. It's just still sitting uh, sealed. It's just crazy. You know, we buy games and mean to play them but we never get around to doing it and um, let's move on to fire emblem awakening this is i have played this one it's really cool uh, lego city undercover which is pretty much i uh, think um a lego gta game wouldn't it be so cool to see a a, a lego gta game but this is kind of it's got that kind of feel to it uh but you play a cop not a bad guy uh, Bravely Second and Layer, which has got a great uh, cover. Um, again, sealed, haven't played it. Oh, so many games I haven't played. Monster Hunter Ultimate, which is another one I picked up recently. Uh, haven't played it. Uh, Hero of Ruin, I have played this one. It's really cool. And Bravely Default, I have played. Um, so many RPGs on this system. is really phenomenal. Um, let's move on to Big Hero 6, which... I love this movie. This game is pretty cool. I didn't mind it. It's, it's really great. And we have the um, Zelda stuff. Hyrule Warrior Legend, which has got all the DLC from the, um, I think it was the Wii U version of it. Um, Arcana of Time, which is the, the first time I actually played this um, was on when I briefly had the N64. I, I, I didn't like it, but now sitting down playing it on the 3DS, 
I absolutely love it. I don't know. Back then, I was probably over. I don't know. I don't know. It was just the way I was. Why I was back then. Uh, Triforce Hero is not too bad. Um, yeah, it's different. It didn't work for me. Uh, Link Between Worlds is phenomenal, and Majora's Mask is another fantastic game that I missed out on. I think it was the N64. So that's the um, Zelda games, and more games I have to talk about. Um, I haven't tried this one yet. I haven't even tried this one yet. This goes to show. I mean, you, know, you start collecting games, you want to play them. But I, like I said in previous videos, I feel like I'm more of a collector now than a gamer. Um, just the way it is. You know, I see something, I want to grab it, go to play it. But then there's something else happening, so I don't get around to playing those games. I need, you know, I need to play them. It's ridiculous. Now, Project Zone. I think it's Project Project X Zone One and Two. <clears throat> we see uh, characters from Capcom, uh, Namco Bandai, Sega in there. Um, that's really cool. I, I, it's really cool uh, to be able to play games like this where you have the like a cross crossover with the different uh, companies in Japan. That's really cool. Um, Final Fantasy Explorer. Now this is a great game. I, I absolutely love this one. It's so cool. Um, there's been some great Final Fantasy games on the handheld systems over the years. Um, Ever Oasis, I haven't sat down to play this one yet, um, it's got a kind of a little bit of an Egyptian feel to it, which I'm really into my Egyptian based games, um, we have some Dragon Quest game, um, this is a remake from the, I think the DS version, which is really great, uh, Kirby Triple Deluxe, which I, I love the Kirby games, and it, it's really good on this um, 3DS handheld, and Mystery Dungeon is another game which I have started playing, but I never really got into properly. Uh, Project Diva series, I, which I can highly recommend trying to hunt this one down. It's really hard at the moment. And, you know, a lot of these games now are getting really hard to find, um, like Castlevania, uh, Mirror of Fate, which is phenomenal. I love that game. I think I've covered some of these games in a, a recent video. Um, Kingdom Hearts, awesome. Kingdom Hearts has always been great. And it's got some great content inside. I just love how inside you got these little uh, squares there. They're taking the time to put, you know, different characters in there just to, just to make it a little bit different. Because I don't know why the squares are there in the first place. It, it just didn't make sense. But it's, you know, it's, I don't know if it was to do that sort of stuff. But it's really cool. Uh, Codename Stem, which is a great game as well. Um, I'd love to see some of these games on this. Well, the Switch, I guess, some stage, who knows. Now, this was one game I was trying to track down for a long time. It's the Sega 3D Classic Collection. Got Sonic in there, we got Poi Poi in there, Power Drift, which I love that one. Altered Beast, which isn't too good, as far as I'm concerned. I was never a fan of Altered Beast in the arcade or on the Mega Drive. Uh, Galaxy Force 2 and some other games. Thunder Blade is in there. Uh, Fantasy Zones in there and Maze Walker, which I don't know what that is. Maybe it was a Japanese only release. Tales of the Abyss is another great game for the uh, 3DS. Like I said, there was a lot of RPGs on the uh, 3DS. It was really popular, especially in Japan. Now I have Pokemon. This one I won uh, when Pokemon Moon was released uh, from the PlayAsia website. That was really great to, to, to win that. And it's actually got a a steel case which not really in the steel cases but I you know, didn't pay anything for it so that was pretty cool that's not bad it's actually really nice the game is in in the 3ds at the moment I think um, so yeah that was really cool um, play Asia to actually win that in a competition I think it was on Instagram I think yeah it was on Instagram I had to do something and I did it and won it which is cool so I do have a few Pokemon games which is great I didn't get into Pokemon series until the uh, the 3DS um, and it is a great um, a series I really enjoy it uh, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire awesome uh, Sun and we have Moon which is great I can't wait for the uh, games to come out in the the um, Switch soon i got pokemon y and this is actually 
came with the uh, the box set. The, the actual you got the steel case and you got the actual game itself, which is great. But you know, great series and loving it on the uh, Nintendo Switch. Which is really, let's go Eevee. I've been playing another great game is Shinobi. Uh, yeah, hunt this one down. It's pretty cheap at the moment. I've seen it here in Australia, really cheap. If you can get it, it's, it's a good uh, side-scrolling um, Shinobi game. Ah, uh, Epic Mickey, um, Power of Illusion. Yeah, I always go back to the Mega Drive, uh, Castle, Castle of Illusion, which is great. I kind of this this is actually pretty cool. Kind of similar to it, so I don't mind that one. Uh, Smash Brothers. I, I have to admit, I was never. I'm not really into the Smash Brothers games, but I got it because it was on the 3DS, and I just wanted to get get it while it was still cheap, I guess. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles uh, with the black cover uh, um, takes advantage of the um, new 3DS, which is which is what this this thing is. Uh, it wasn't too many games um, that actually took advantage of the new uh, 3DS. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, Fantasy Life is really cool. Didn't mind that one. Now, this is from the creator of um, Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, Nights in the Dreams, all that sort of stuff. Burning Forces. Um, took a long time for this game to come out on the 3DS and the Wii U. I got it on the Wii U. I never played it uh, on the Wii U. I have played it on this. It's a bit odd, a bit different. Didn't really work, but you know, it's it's. It's one of those games that just took forever to come out and kind of disappointing, but I still got it in the collection. Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, which is really cool. Uh, Senran Karajiro, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, popular game on the 3DS. Uh, Dead Alive Dimension, which is really cool as well. Um, I think there was a story mode in this, I can't remember. Yeah, it's just a fighting game. Really cool. We have Luigi's Mansion 1 and 2. I can't wait for 3 to come out. Just, yeah, can't wait. And, you know, I missed out on Luigi's Mansion on the game, Luigi's Mansion on the GameCube. But to yeah, be able to play on the 3DS, it's actually really good and it looks great in 3D as well. Um, Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. <laughs> that is so cool as well. And to finish off this collection, is Metroid Samus's Return. Now this is well worth owning a 3DS just for this game. Uh, it does take me back to the SNES days um, but a great game. Unbelievable. So that's it guys. That is my Nintendo 3DS collection. Um, soon I'll be doing the Wii U collection. I still got a few more collections to get through. So you know one a month and then updates i guess and other stuff i want to show off so that's so that's it guys um the nintendo 3ds it's finished we didn't see anything at e3 2019 so that tells you it's done there's probably one game still left to come out on it i believe that i know of i've seen it on the oz uh game shop website but you know it had a great run so many great games there's still games i need to find there's something that's not in this collection you think I should have leave a comment below and yeah we'll have a discussion about it but all the games I have here I'll probably buy this one um, but yeah I can recommend so it was a great system and a lot of great games especially Mario can you believe how many Mario games was on this system it's insane so hey guys don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time bye